Super exciting time for me, a brand new Path of Exile League. I've never done one at the very start and it's interesting for me to see the unrefined systems that a lot of people told me about and how they develop over time and what it's actually like at launch, which is a very different experience to what I had last time where I joined after all the quirks had kind of been worked out. So I know many of you are after my thoughts on this. Let's have a look. There are two aspects to this league that we really need to talk about because on the one hand, there's the new thing that the league is based on. That is the Scourge League, a brand new system involving a Blood Crucible where you're going to do different kinds of gameplay and that's going to be split up into two things in order to generate really cool new items. This is the fresh idea that Grinding Gear Games comes up with every few months in order to keep their games super fresh. They totally redo the main core function of the league. The second part is actually the quality of life improvements because when I joined during my casual playthrough, I went on the podcast with the big dudes and they talked about a lot of the complaints the community had had. Now, they weren't really affecting me because it was my first time into PoE. But the most common thread, especially among casual players, was that it had become such a huge monumental time investment in order to progress to the serious end game, even though your character was ready. It required a ton of farming in order to get certain items so you could progress onto that last, last boss. You only got one go at the last boss, so if you were still learning it, you might fail. And then you needed to regrind a ton in order to get to those bosses, as well as work through all the point acquisition and unlocking various areas in the Atlas map, all that kind of stuff. So let's talk about the first thing and the big positive that came from the announcement of the Scourge League is that they massively shrunk and improved the quality of life in supreme ways for all those players. They made it far, far easier, far less time investment. They shrunk down the Atlas. They did so many things, even little changes here and there about how you acquire items. They made them now so they drop in stacks. You know what? Go fuck yourself. When I'm ready and not before. Things like that in order to make your gameplay experience in Path of Exile that much better. And as for a seasoned player, these are just like the 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 just the cherries that you were looking for. This was great. Like even for me who had only played one league, reading about the changes they had done, I was like, this is fantastic. This is awesome. And they are. You even feel it from the start of leveling up your fresh character, is you feel that quality of life improvement very very quickly and it just expands and expands and expands on that and it was one of the things that i was i noted straight away is like it just feels nicer even as we play through this and we felt that in the office as well it's not only me who's been playing this we have been playing it internally among our team and you could just feel that happening and certainly towards the end game nothing but positive reception for that so this is a great example and i'm going to bring up another example of this of them listening to the feedback and actually doing something about it, actually doing something very positive about it in order to make your gameplay experience better. Because they, it is a grinding game, right? It's Grinding Gear Games is the name of the developer. Grinding is a part of the game. But that grind needs to be tempered. It needs to be not all the way over to old school Asian MMOs where you're just grinding and grinding and grinding for all time to get barely anything and then losing experience and losing these resources as you push on in order to feel like I can't be bothered to do this again. So it's really good to see that they drew all that back. Now let's talk about the new league. So, for me, this was an eye-opening experience compared to my blind playthrough that I did the last time because I joined late in the league, literally like a month and a half before the new league was about to launch, which means the Expedition League that was currently in play had undergone some changes. They had modified it in different ways. Now, when it comes to the core fu function, what I now see more clearly than ever is that you have to divide that into two parts. And I'm sure that's what they do internally. There's the gameplay part of the, whatever the league mechanic is. The gameplay, what you actually do in the game to generate the resource or to acquire the currencies or whatever it might be in order to take advantage of part two, which is the itemization side of it. So we have the gameplay side of it and the itemization side of it. And those two are often very, very separate in terms of how they function. We have one entire gameplay thing, which is what you're going to do out in your maps, what you're going to do in the world. And then you have the itemization functionality, which is often something completely separate and just utilizes whatever you earned in the gameplay side. Now, if I was to look at the Expedition League, I would say 
the itemization side of it, I found exceptionally fun exceptionally fun when i was doing my again casual playthrough no expert here but my casual playthrough i found it very fun when i was kind of feeling a little burned out on maybe just grinding out gameplay for you know six or seven hours which is what easily disappears into path of exile and then going to the vendors in order to gamble on an item and just have fun messing with a piece of gear to maybe make it cool you got choices along the way certainly if i think about rog where you were able to go right What's the next step? You can either make these good or maybe we take these away. Do you really want those things? Because we're going to take them away. And you click the button and you're like, okay, okay, maybe the next one's like, we're going to boost certain things and make them good. It's like, okay, are these good? All right, let's roll it. Let's see what happens. And the, the cool thing about that, even if it was just raw dragging items out of um, some other gambling ways and just getting a bad item, is you didn't really feel a sense of loss. That was something I really enjoyed, is you were just hoping and praying you would get something exceptional. You can know going in, yeah, it's not. You, you might not, but at least you'll get several tries. And sometimes you got something really good out of it. And if you didn't, no big deal. You're still in the same gear you had when you started, and your your gear is pretty pretty, pretty good. You were just hoping to get something a little bit better, and it gave you a little fun gameplay. Even the, the itemization side of it was fun gameplay in order to mess around and have fun with it. On the alternative side, the actual gameplay in the game. I would have a very minor, and I, I want to stress this enough, a very minor complaint that the gameplay side was a little exhausting at times. But I mean, really tinyly, because what you had to do was set up the explosions. This is how the Expedition League works, is you set up the explosions in order to generate the type of enemies and the resources you wanted to come out of it. And it could get a little exhausting because it existed in pretty much every single map you went into. And you would find these people and they're like, okay, now you need to plot out where you want to blow it up. And it would take you out of killing things for a, for like 30 seconds. A really minor complaint this. So I would say like on the, on the itemization side, stellar. I had so much fun with it. It was really cool just getting 10 or 12 items, just hoping they'd be good. Having some gambling opportunities, messing around, re-rolling them, hoping you were going to get something you really liked. And if not, okay, it'll come along next time. Where the gameplay side of it, again, was fine. It was pretty good. It would just take you out of the flow of combat a little bit. Every single map, which was, you know, every now and again, you were like, I kind of can't be bothered stopping what I'm doing in order to do this. But you go and do it anyway because you want the resources for the itemization bit, which is really good. Now, the Scourge League, then. Um, basically, a 180 for me. Let's talk about the gameplay side. This was tremendous. I just said it was a little exhausting sometimes to have to stop your gameplay in order to generate the resources in the expedition league in this one not a bit of it they have created this seamless method of instantly flipping the world wherever you're stood into the mirror world which is the same map but more demonic more covered in blood and going straight into combat for a very short period of time at least at the start a very short period of time where you just go in and you smash everything to pieces and then you pop straight back out into what you were already doing there is no break in gameplay whatsoever it is instantaneous I loved this. It took a little while to get going. Occasionally, I would flip into the mirror world, and there'd be just nothing there, and you're like, oh, okay, I kind of wasted it, uh, and then flip back, uh, and you'd be like, okay, well, next time, whatever, but it was it was really good, especially if I'd cleared an area in a map or something, and I had to make my way back somewhere. I could flip into the mirror world and kill stuff, I, so I didn't have that little travel period, although you do pop back out of the map at the same place. You've got loot now waiting for you along the way like interesting things that have dropped so it really eased up on that break of gameplay and i thought that was fantastic so the overall gameplay flip much better than i think much better than the expedition league the itemization stuff though okay this is very interesting because i did not have a single positive experience with this um and the basic premise of this for those of you who don't play path of exile is you stick an item in basically like an oven and when you go into the mirror world, that item gains corruption experience. And once the bar fills, you can click transform and it will corrupt the item. And that can have kiss curse mechanics. So it'll give you some, uh, it'll upgrade the item. It will give you something really good. It'll also give you something that's negative. At the same time, it corrupts it. So you can't do anything else to it. Um, yeah, I didn't have a single positive experience with this. And this is where it really kind of starts to be like... <sighs> This is nowhere near as fun as the last league mechanic. And I could start to see how people go, mm, I like this one better, I like this one better, I like this one better. Uh, that became very apparent because ultimately I ended up just sticking garbage items in there in order to generate something to sell because it would upgrade the item. And if I had, say, a weak ring and I found a ring on the floor, I'd be like, well, I'll throw it in the machine and maybe something good will pop out as an upgrade. 
Most of the time, what I get out of it, though, was either a good, a, a positive effect that just wasn't good enough or wasn't for me at, at all. So, you know, I was playing a caster, so it'd be like plus strength or something. Uh, and then, or I got something that was okay. It was good enough, but the negative far, like, crushed it. Like, 36% global defense down. And it's like, well, <laughs> I can't even wear that, really, without just smashing my face into the floor. Um... And then I looked a little bit more into it, because you can do it again. Later in the game, you can re-roll up to three times. So if the corruption, although corrupted in Path of Exile means you can't modify the item, if you do it through this Blood Crucible thing, you do get to re-roll it a couple more times. And then it became very apparent to me that, in fact, that's not true. Uh, at least now, and I know that they're, they're already releasing updates to this, and this is what's been really cool, and I'll get to that in a second, is that the fact the really good stuff is actually on the third try so you really you do only get one try to get something you really want and then it got to me think got me thinking is like who who is this for really because i don't want to if i'm certainly if i'm the leveling process or whatever i i need to first of all you need a secondary piece of gear that you don't mind losing because very often in fact more 100 percent of the time for me the, the the item was ruined by putting inside here which put me off the system entirely it's like this just puts me off because it's just a ruined item. Whereas even with the old system, I might not get the best item ever, but I might get something that's slightly better, which is fine. I can stick that on and I'm pretty happy with that result, honestly. Uh, but this just felt like I was putting stuff in there to die. It was like I was sending them off to the furnace to be smelted down uh, into currency for the most part. Which I think the only thing I can see with this system that makes it cool is that when you're really super end game, when you're fishing for one particular thing, then maybe it's okay when you're really hoping that one specific, you know, you really need to be on top of your game in terms of everything that could pop out of this. You're really hoping for that one particular role, which is just too limited for me or a player like me. I'm, I, I mean, sure, I can grind it out till I'm at that stage, but the whole system kind of felt dead. Ultimately, for that, it just felt like a joke, honestly, uh, is throwing things in there. It's like, I'll just throw... I ended, and this is the, I can only tell you the mindset I ended up in with this system, and I'm sure there are more positives to it for seasoned players. But for me, it was just like, I'll just throw any old crap in there, see what pops out, uh, and then put it away. I can't see me even taking full advantage of this system until I'm at the stage where I'm getting my BIS items, which is just not... doesn't really feel that good. Uh, certainly as you're trying out the system and you're trying to mess around with it. Now... That's my thoughts on, this, on the league, on the league mechanic. Now, what I will say is I know as of today, they're already updating it to alleviate these concerns, which is like a week after the patch came out, which is mental. That is absolutely mental. And I can only say from uh, older experience of waiting for things like class balancing and little obvious changes, and I'm talking about obvious changes that really needed to happen fast and quickly, to see them happening so quickly is fantastic and what i want to do now is i'm going to leave poe here for now uh, one reason is the new league might as well not exist for me right now uh in its current form but the other one is i rolled a caster like i just said and clearly casters are not for me <laughs> i'm a melee boy there was a reason i love flicker in the last league and i want to play that more i want to go zoom zoom and with that that melee crushing aspect i love crushing things with a big two-handed sword in this game or a two-handed axe or whatever like that's what i want in my life uh so i'm gonna i'm gonna wait actually until they refine it a bit more. Because I know they're going to do that. I have that confidence they're going to refine it a bit more. And then come back and try it. So that's my thoughts on this league so far. Well, there you have it. That is the Scourge League, in my opinion. It's great to see that Grinding Gear Games is already starting to make changes. Literally a week after this patch came out, they're looking at the feedback, they're making it, and that's what, that's what blows my mind about this. And when I heard the complaints initially from the long-term players that... Oh, sometimes we have to wait like a couple of weeks to see the changes and the adaptations they're making. I'm like, bro, this is so good. It's so good that you're getting these changes. It might not be for me right now, but I'm sure that later down the line, this is actually going to be a really cool system that people can engage with. I just hope that itemization just gets a little bit more interesting. That's all I want from it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And look out, we're doing a full Around Reborn review for Final Fantasy XIV. I've now finished it. I am ready to step into Heaven's Ward on Monday morning. I'm very hyped for it. I'm taking this little week break. We're playing some horror games because it is Halloween. And then we're going to be jumping straight to that Heaven's Ward story. Not that I'm not thirsty for it right now.